Hello everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Pretty sure this is something I ordered. Sounds like it. For the projects, I've been waiting on these for a while. Yep, exactly what I thought. I gotta make sure I got the right amount. So what we have here is, I don't want to scratch my desk, it's an antique desk. What I have here are 18650 battery trays with solder terminals. And they have the metal clips instead of the springs. So they are a little bit more stable. Let's see how many we got. So we got five and one, two, three, four, five. So we got five each. Now what this is going to give us is we're going to have, I should put down the plastic on here, we're going to have sevens to a bank, seven batteries to a bank, and this gives us five banks of batteries of 18650s, and my idea is they'll probably have four four sets of these maybe in a in a block um, somehow I'm no I'm not sure exactly I was thinking about a block or cube so there's four of these around but the idea is to have portable battery banks and very convenient sized even two like this and two on the other side would work so back to back but I'll have these battery banks and then I can just pick up and take on a camping trip and use them for portable power and then plug back into the battery the power wall when I get back to the homestead so we got to start we got the experimental we got the the uh, battery holders for now for the experimental battery bank idea now I'm waiting on the um, well, I have to get another cup of coffee this morning. I'm waiting on the boards that are on the way. So then I think I should be able to start putting them together. So, well, it's a start. I've got, where did I put that? Right there. I have all the 18650 batteries. So there's a, uh, a plus and a minus. So these will all pop into their housing here, or into their battery holders. Okay. I might end up trying to take off, I'm not going to put that one in there. Any ones that have little residual pieces of uh, tabs on them, I want to take them off before I use them on here. But, see there's, they'll all go together, seven to a, a row, and each one is going to have the controller boards which is going to ensure that each battery doesn't get overcharged or under discharged and then I was thinking oh hold on hold that thought that reason this is better than what most people are doing in my opinion is usually people take the these type of holders and pop all the batteries together which is great it looks really cool and then they solder the batteries together in whatever configuration they want and they've got a really neat I mean I like it it's a nice neat little setup the problem is when you solder these together like this that if one battery somewhere in here fails you've got to take the whole complete thing apart to get that battery swapped out so basically your whole block is now defective and out of commission until you can take out that defective battery and that's a problem whereas with my idea one battery goes bad you pop it out and the rest of the the system is still running and we've only got sets of seven so there's less likelihood of losing a whole array of batteries like what is this four by five that's 20 batteries compared to seven so 
in the end this is going to be so much easier to maintain and then from the charge controller board I can go out to a microcontroller like an Arduino and using one bit per battery I can have a one or a zero and to to show if a battery is good or defective so I can then run through the display and cycle through display one two three four up to whatever how many how many um, banks I have seven battery banks and then if there's a dead battery it'll put an X on the display in that position so they say this is bank 27 and battery 4 it would show an X on the display showing me that that battery is going out on me and that can be completely controlled by an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi so my idea is that this will be a very low maintenance power wall when I'm done so that's the plans that's the theory of it so far now I've got to find out how I'm going to wire these together I know a guy has made a really fancy circuit board for something like this but um, it's not really cheap and uh, part of the thing about doing it yourself is I like to do it myself so I'll probably figure something out with some kind of a a blank circuit board type of a setup and then wire these together solder them together myself with wires but I'm gonna have something to screw these to. There's screw holes plenty of screw holes to fasten them down which is good and I'm gonna put them to use so there we go guys the plans for my DIY power wall using 18650 batteries and it's going to, like I said, it's going to be plug and play, hot swappable. So you can pull out a unit and take it with you on vacation. Come home and plug it back in. I want to have the ability to, when I plug it, pull it out, I can go and plug it into a portable power unit. And I can take any one of these on a trip and have power on the go. So it's going to be pretty cool. Tell me what you think, guys. I've got to wait for the uh, circuit boards to arrive, the control boards. And then I think I can start putting these together. So please like, subscribe, and share, and follow my videos. Um, experiments in electricity, electronics, off-grid living, and uh, alternate energy. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Hit that bell icon and get notifications. Talk to you later.